together we're gonna build a fog filler today guys here's the breakdown on a cheap version or the cheapest version of the Bose Einstein fogger got the bin at Home Depot for 10 bucks as well these two vent pieces were 10 bucks a piece as well these two pieces of aluminum 8 foot by 4 inch ducting 10 bucks a piece I got a crap load of these wall warts laying around 12 volts goes with the fan that I got from Shanghai for five dollars including shipping this one's already taped together from a uh, previous one I got but I got some more fans on order anyways we'll just use this one today I'll show you how I did it this little uh, basket right here came from the dollar store that's just for the fog machine to sit up on top of and the, the height was ideal for what we were using it for we only need one of these grates on here so pop one of those off and we're going to take that piece apart as well and use that to draw out our hole that we're going to cut. Make sure everything lines up nicely and then we're going to draw this one out here with a white marker. I'm going to be using a drill and some tin snips to cut this hole out. Like that. Okay, we're also going to cut these pieces of tin in half as well here with the tin snips. Right now we're going to drill these little holes here. Only reason we're bolting these holes shut here because when you put the fixture in there if you cut it out decent 
Um, the fixture fits right in there anyways, but these, the reason for these bolts going through here is that when you're twisting all of the aluminum up and stuff, it can fight you and it doesn't make a very good seal in the outsides. And when you do bolt that closed, it makes a nice seal, it doesn't fight you, and it works pretty darn good. So the fog comes in here and it follows this input pipe which we got riding up top right now. Just screwed the ends right here. We got it kind of facing down so not too much ice can get in there. Even though you do want a bit of ice in it. And the whole idea with all this aluminum in here guys is that you want as much of that aluminum in full contact with the ice as possible or the ice water at the bottom. The output pipe here is just riding on the lower level here of the chamber. And we're gonna have that pipe riding in that super cool water at the bottom. These things will immediately run five degrees cooler and using a good thermal couple like aluminum instead of PVC. And again, I don't know why I see you people putting plastic on the inside of your fog chillers. Get that plastic and that insulated material out of there. Think of it, your fog is traveling down a super chilled pipe or your fog is traveling down a pipe that's insulating the heat away from the cold that you're trying to get into the fog. It don't make no sense guys, get that plastic out of there. So these four inch brushless 12 volt fans here I got from Shanghai. Uh, all you gotta do is shave down the corners with one of these guys or something else. I This one's already done so I'm just kinda trying to show you what's going on and if you do that, the four inch fixture for the fan fits perfectly into the four inch fixture from the dryer vent that you see that the grate came on here. So all I did was I taped the grate and the 12 volt fan together, shaved those corners down, and then it's quick attach, just like this. Boom, and that's in there and it won't come up. Fog chiller time. Being out here in the garage, it's starting to get a little chilly out, getting ready for Halloween. Straight up, the aluminum ducting is ready to go. We got the fans and everything all geared in on the switch. Let's watch this temperature drop quick. Keep as much of that ice on the aluminum as possible. Today's fog, I'm using Orion and I gave it another 10% glycerin for what was in here already. Don't go more than that, you don't need to. And here is our special bubblegum ice cream, minus the bubblegums. <laughs> 